Hey guys, welcome back. Today we got two iPhones, an iPhone 15 Pro Max and an iPhone 14 Pro. Both of them have LiDAR scanners, but according to anything I could find online, I couldn't really see if there was a difference in the LiDAR scanners. So that's what we're gonna test out today. We're gonna see if one iPhone has a better LiDAR scanner than the other. And we're going to test this by using the same app. It's called the 3D Scanner app. Yep, very basic. And we're just going to scan this canal over here. And there's copper. And we might also try scanning some crawdads because the canal just recently dried up. So perfect time to test it out. Anyways, let's start doing this. Whew. Okay, so I just got the app on the phone. You can see there it is. We're gonna open it up. And we're gonna start test. Yeah, definitely allow. And yeah, we're just gonna, gonna go walk down there and start recording and trying to do this. Without doing anything here, you can see the nice 3D model. It's actually not bad because the rocks are down there. You can kind of tell where they are. Not quite as much detail with the rocks as it could have, but overall not bad actually. Medium, 10 seconds, four seconds. Yeah, well that's quite a bit of vertices. Anyways, let's go back and you swap it out with the iPhone 14 which is actually the phone recording this, so here we go. Okay, now we're back with the iPhone 14. Oh, kind of covering it. But yeah, you can't even, it's not focusing very well on it. There we go. So yeah, we're gonna go try the same thing, but with that phone. Yeah. And that is the model there. So yeah, there we have it. There's the two results. Not big surprise that there really isn't much difference. As you can see here in Blender, here's the 14 Pro and here's the 15 Pro Max. <laughs> yeah, really nothing. So if you're buying it just for the LiDAR scanner, can't recommend it, but not really very many people do it. So it's just an interesting thing to see if they would do anything. I was honestly kind of hoping they would improve the 15 Pro Max as a spatial video is coming on it. And I figured the only way that would work is if they were doing something else to the LiDAR scanner. But yep, looks like it's not the case. Anyways, before we end this video completely, here's just a time lapse of me getting one more final big LiDAR scan with this 14 Pro because the 15 Pro will be recording it. Anyways, here we go. So yeah, there's uh, the results. You can't even really see it. There we go. It actually looks really good. Like, look at that. So pretty much if you have a LiDAR scanner on one of the newer iPhones, the, either the 15 Pro or 14 Pro, <laughs> it will look pretty good. Like, look at that. For bigger objects, this is awesome. You're not going to get anything else like this. Well, there we have it. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. I had quite a bit of fun actually playing around with these LiDAR scanners. I haven't really done much with them, but definitely need to start using them a little bit more as they're a pretty cool technology.